Uh, Clippers defensively have been uh, been pretty solid in terms of like points per game, defensive rating, defensive field goal percentage, but uh, not quite as strong against the three. You're a big. You like to spray and, and let it fly. Is that kind of part of the way you attack this defense? Yeah, you, you know, we, 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 it doesn't matter who we play. We, we want to let it, let it fly. Uh, we feel like we're a good three-point shooting team, although the numbers might not have, might not point that direction right now, but we, we think we have guys that can knock that shot down. And anytime you touch the paint, especially in today's NBA, everybody just converges. And so if you want to be able to spray the basketball and, and let that thing fly and knock down the shots for sure. Mike, do you take anything from that preseason game that you guys played against them? And then James Harden's more of their focal point of their offense. Just how much are you keying in on him defensively this evening? We, yeah, I mean, they, they, you know, the preseason game, they were, um, you could tell that they're athletic. They play very, very hard. Um, they all bought into the defense in the floor. They had a lot of defenders. And, you know, you take that away. But, you know, I've said a couple times before, you know, I kind of handcuffed our guys and uh, not to say that it's going to be easy tonight because it's not, <laughs> you know, it's going to be very, very hard. But I handcuffed our guys and, you know, we were missing a couple of guys. They were missing a couple of guys. And so what you get and what you take from it is how hard they play, how relentless they are, <clears throat> their ability to switch bodies one through five most times unless, you know, Zubac is involved. Maybe they may not switch it in there. But, uh, when they get out run, they're going to put pressure on you with their athleticism when it comes to rebounding. So those are things that you take away from it. Coach. Um, and, and Harden, yeah. I mean, Harden's, I'm sorry, Harden's, Harden's, he's tough no matter who he's with or what you're throwing at him. You just can't give him the same thing. Hopefully, you know, not more, he'll miss a, miss a couple of shots. Yeah, yeah Coach, uh, Norman Powell, he's averaging 25 points a game, shooting 53% from the floor. Uh, I think he seven or eight straight games, 20 plus points or more. What's your assessment of him and what he's doing for the Clippers right now, this early in the season? Man, he's, he's having a phenomenal year so far. Um, he's scoring it in a lot of different ways. It's not just catching and shooting. He's coming off of pin downs. He's coming off at the HOs. He's getting out of transition. You know, um, and he's more athletic than what you think. He's a little longer than what you think. And, um, <clears throat> he's been able to score his whole career. It's just now there's some room for more minutes. And um, when a guy like that gets more minutes, is the, with the way that he can put that thing in the hole from all three levels, uh, he's very, very dangerous. And so he's having a very, very good year. And, and uh, you know, he's going to be tough to contain. I don't know how much you pay attention to like the numbers when we're eight, nine games in the season, but you guys are fifth in offensive rating at the three-point shooting is like near the bottom. Are you, what have you guys been able to do to still maintain that efficiency? And do you kind of like the fact that like, hey, we're finding other ways to manufacture points without being super efficient from three at this point? Oh, but for sure. You, you, you definitely like that because, it, you know, come playoff time, um, you know, the, the, the game gets tougher, right? You're not going to just be able to shoot threes. You're not going to just be able to get to the rim. So you got to find other ways to score. And, you know, we're going through that process now. You know, every time we play, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with my rotation. Every time we play, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with what we want to do offensively. And on top of that, if I have some comfort level to me, it's going to uh, – the players are going to feel it too. So <clears> – <throat> We're, we're still in a little bit of search mode, but, but while going through the search mode, um, guys are trying to make the right play. They're trying to play, uh, like I said, for each other, and, and we have guys that are capable, and they're showing it now. And, you know, the three ball is a thing that uh, I know we're a better shooting team than we're shooting right now, so that's going to get better in time. I don't know how, how long it's going to take, but I want our guys to keep shooting it because that's going to be there on some nights. And, and uh, especially with the way we play and having guys that, that uh, command double teams. So um, we want our guys to keep letting it fly and we'll keep trying to be unselfish and being efficient with what we're doing inside the three-point line as well. And Mike, um, you speak about the process of <clears throat> getting more comfortable. How can you describe what it's been like to fit DeMar into the DHO game? Yeah, you, you know, 
the first thing is he and uh, Domas, they got together for at least a week this, this summer down in L.A. So they spent time working out together, talking about the little nuances that they like uh, when it comes to the DHL game and some other things. And, and then, you know, really, if you watch DeMar when he was in Chicago, I, I didn't watch him closely until we were in the mix with him. But if you, if, if you watch his film from when he was there, you can see he, he's just a basketball player. Everybody's like, ah, he's a mid, mid-range ISO guy. No, 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 this dude, he brought in a transition. He played drag pick and roll. He played double drag pick and roll. He came off not a ton because Chicago doesn't do it as much, much as us, but came off a lot of DHOs. Uh, and not only did he do those things to score, but he also hit the big in the pocket. He also sprayed the basketball. And th those are all things that we like to do. We like to mix those things in. And, and so, you know, it, it's been a pretty seamless fit. But, uh, you know, for me, I wanted to make sure that um, that wasn't the only way he got the ball. We wanted to put him in different spots, let him catch it different ways, let him bring it different ways. And, and, and pick and roll game and trying to get to a point where we can move him around a little bit as well as Fox around a little bit will only be a benefit us in the long run and, and you know right now we have most of the actions in that we like for those two guys yeah. uh, there's a few more things we may want to add in due time but uh, uh, most of the actions are there and the guys have done a really good job of picking up on it even though we've thrown it to them Throwing up a lot of the stuff not too long ago. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thank you.